What's up everybody, it is Ride With Will, and for you guys who follow me know I have a DRZ400E that I occasionally use for a trail ride. So is the DRZ400E too heavy for a trail bike? so I get it, I have a DRZ400E, but what about a DRZ400S, fully equipped with street gear? People say the DRZ 400 is too heavy for trail riding. To me, it feels fine and perfectly capable of even hitting really gnarly trails. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not comparing this to any kind of enduro bike or type of smoker like the CR250. <laughs> Yeah, you would definitely be a lot faster on the smoker versus a 300 pound machine. But in all honesty, for your everyday trails, a DRZ400 is just more than enough to do just about any trail an average rider can handle. I mean, obviously, you would not take it to a hair scramble or an enduro race. So for me, I think it's pretty funny when people say the DRZ400 is just too heavy to take to the trails and it's better off as a supermoto. So is the DRZ400 too heavy for the trails? Well, it depends what you call trails. Single track, rock hop type rides. Technically speaking, the DRZ is capable of hitting tight single track and able to, you know, pop your front tire and hop onto the next rock. But it's not ideal. Would you cut an onion with a bread knife? It will do it, but it's not the best tool for the job. I will say this about the DRZ though that it is one hell of a machine for the price. And I must say, it is one of the best true dual sports ever made, even till this day. For some reason, it does really good on-road and really good off-road. What's up everybody, Ride With Will, and today's video is when people say the DRZ is too heavy for trail riding. Honestly, of course, a KTM and all that stuff is going to be lighter and probably better than this trail. And by the way, 1538 gearing. So these are all straight up, nothing but a rocky trail. And when people say, dude, honestly, this DRZ, it feels really comfortable. Yeah, you do have to fight a little bit, but it's honestly, it's not that much of a difference. It's not terribly tight, but this is like, you know, normal OHV trails. And these aren't small rocks. <laughs> these are pretty big rocks. from being a good rider and I'll probably will never be one. Yet alone, I don't even know a lot about bikes, but the only thing I can tell you guys is what I experience and how it is for me. 
I know this because I've seen people on DRZs on these trails going just as fast, if not even faster than the people with KTMs and other high-end brands. And most people will say our trails are not beginner friendly. So if you guys like my content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you are ever in Colorado, feel free to contact me if you ever want to come along for a ride. I love bringing new people along and I will even lend you one of my bikes for free as long as you're a subscriber. See you guys in the next video.